Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and today I'm here with my friends from allfreeknitting.com to talk to you about dyeing silk hankies. Um, these hankies can then, once you've dyed, you can pull the layers apart as I've shown in another video and spin the fibers or just knit from the hanky directly. We are going to be doing this dyeing in the oven where we can control the temperature better. I've read that silk can lose its luster when it's heated at temperatures above 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So using the oven will help us control it. So you'll start off with an oven safe dish that you can fit your silk hanky into. You're then going to cover it, add enough water to cover the silk. This is just normal tap water. You may need to weigh it down. Um, for silk, it's recommended that you soak for a lot longer than you would wool. Um, as you can see, it's got a tendency to float a bit, but you can see where the fibers are in fact getting saturated. So you'll want to let it soak until all the fibers are wet, or um, and maybe even wait as long as overnight. To the soaking mixture, I'm going to add our acid source for dyeing. I'm going to add three tablespoons of white vinegar. If you've been following my videos, then you would know the components that you need to dye fiber include acid, which is our vinegar. You'll need fiber, which we've got here in our silk and you'll need heat, which is what we're going from the oven. Depending on the amount of fiber you use, you may want to use some drinking glasses or something to help keep the silk fiber submerged under the water. And so it hasn't been that long that we've been soaking, but the edges still need a bit more help. So while you're soaking, you may want to press them into the water and um, try to remove bubbles. So our silk hanky is nice and submerged. I am going to start preheating my oven to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we can add the dye. You'll notice that the edges no longer look super solid white. And so that's the part that takes the longest to dye. And I'm wearing rubber gloves just to protect my hands. Now, I had extra water in here for soaking, but I'm actually going to pour a little out. You can see that my hanky went up over the edge, but I'll just put it back into the water. There we go. Now, what colors should we do today? I have not pre-mixed any dye solutions. I'm just going to use some McCormick's food coloring. But I'm looking for... Here we go. Alright, now just like with space dyeing, we are going to add the dye slowly and carefully. There's been no heat or anything added yet, so it's still possible that the dye could mix completely, but we can let it dif slowly diffuse into the fibers. And I'm going to help by, with, by using my fingers a bit. Now with any type of dyeing, the more, we're not using, I think, what is it, it's only probably about a quarter of an ounce of fiber that I have here. So, you know, I'm not worried about the dye not penetrating the fibers all the way. But if, if you're using more silk, you're going to need to take extra care for the dye to penetrate into the middle layer, so that way you don't open up 
you know, beautiful hand-painted silk hankies and find a very, very white center. Unless, of course, that's something that you want, then there's no problem. motion it to help the dye spread down. Let's see if I pick up a corner. We've got some nice blues going on. Just helping the diffusion a bit. But it's up to you how much you want your colors to mix. There we go. That looks beautiful. Okay, now it's time to transfer to the oven. So I'm very delicately trying to keep my tray nice and level. I'm going to put my tray with the yarn into the oven. I don't think I have an oven light to shed some light on there. Uh, but, you know, and so now we've got a waiting game. And we're going to let it sit with the little amount of heat and come back in 20 minutes and check on our progress. So we've been heating for about 20 minutes, and it's a little hard to see, but there is still some color remaining in the dye bath. Not all the color is in the silk. So I'm going to let this continue to sit um, for another 20 minutes or maybe even longer. And the amount of time that you might need will depend on the amount of silk that you have. 40 minutes of soaking have elapsed and you can see that all the color is out of the bath and in our lovely silk. You can see how it is paler right here that the, that the color didn't spread a lot more once I put it in the oven to start heating. So this is why you would want to really smush your colors before you start. Unless of course you want a little lightness like and don't really care and then it's all wonderful. So now we want to sit and let this cool completely before we rinse it. Our silk hanky is now really cool so we can take it out carefully out of the bath and I'm going to put it in a colander to rinse it off. Let's move. And then gently, I'm going to rinse it. I'm doing it this way rather than using, um, rather than soaking it uh, because I'm going to want to hang it to dry and I'm going to want to get as much water out of the silk as possible. But I guess you can't really see the runoff. The runoff is fairly clear. Um, but like I would with any wool or anything else that I was dyeing, I'm going to use just a little bit of dish soap over the silk. Silk is pretty sturdy, but you don't want the hinkies to rip or anything. And so once the water has run clear, you can leave the hanky in the colander a bit until the water drips out and then hang it on a, either like a cooling rack or on a clothesline to dry completely. So here we have it, 
our fully dyed dry silk hanky. And then you know you can go ahead and peel off a layer. and draft it. I'm not going to explain how you draft, but uh, there's a whole other video on that. But you can draft it. Whoops! <laughs> Getting cut. You can draft it and then knit um, directly with the fibers, or you can spin it into yarn. And you will see Sorry, I'm getting stuck to it because I haven't exfoliated my hands recently. You'll notice that as it dried, we lost some intensity. But that is to be expected, um, I suppose. And, you know, you can check the center of our single hanky and the color is fine. But I'll show you an example of a different stack that I dyed, you know, I used a lot more color um, on the top, but as you go more into the center, there is a lot more white, even though I used a lot of food coloring. So you'll need to experiment to see what works best to get the colors that you want. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and thank you for watching this video on how to dye silk hankies in your oven. Brought to you by allfreeknitting.com.